What's going on guys? Welcome back to another thing on the internet. This thing is going to be modern and this is a deck critique from uh, from Mitchell, M. Softest Cotton. And um, this is Black White Aristocrats. How do you feel, like, how do you feel about Aristocrats? This is a commander deck, right? It's the Aristocrats. <laughs> That's not an appropriate joke. <laughs> Vencer Sojourn, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um... And so one question, this was the deck that was submitted, and Mitchell said, just to let you know, the Sorens in the previous sideboard, I currently have one in the main deck replacing Bitter Blossom. I was wondering what your thought on which is stronger, uh, or is Bitter Blossom better in general? There should be a Thought Seize or two in the sideboard, but don't know what else to take out. Well, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. So, your sideboard is, your new sideboard, one Athreos, got that guy. Two Oriac Champion, got those ladies. Two Fragmentize, got those. Two Ghost Quarter, two Ley Line. Two Ghost Quarter, two Ley Line. Sunder and Growth, gone. Uh, Nihil Spellbomb, is that in there? You got two of those bad boys. Start to finish, gone. And then you have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's 13. Yeah, so that's about it. Oh, one start to finish, one Sunder and Growth. Oh, so it was actually the same thing. I just took out the two cards that were already in there. Well then. Wait, but you don't have Sorens in there. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two Ley Lines. Okay, so the Sorens are room for Ley Lines. And he took one Bitter Blossom out. Uh, I do like the Soren that makes one ones. I don't actually like this Soren that much at all, to be honest with you. Um, 2,500 bits? <laughs> Thank you very much for always enjoying your content. Thank you. Really appreciate it, Miss Medu. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. I was like, what? That's a lot. That's a good amount of bits. Uh... I, uh, Frank, congratulations on your promotion to top tier first. Yeah, uh, appreciate it. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Um, 100, please read my apology book. All right, hold on. I wanted to apologize the other day. The meds the doctor has me on are be super messed up, and I'm sorry, but I will say I totally called the throw. Keep making great content. Bobby, what did you, what are you apologizing for? I didn't even remember, I don't think you did anything offensive that you needed to apologize. How's your back been? Slightly better. Really? Yeah, slightly better. Did you get that bacchiotomy? Maybe that maybe that stuff my own gave me really does work. When was the last time you used it? Yesterday? Yeah. Uh, if it does work, that's a good sign because then it's muscular, not uh, bonular. Right. Bonular because if it was Because if it's bone, it would relieve the pain, but it wouldn't like... It wouldn't fix it. It wouldn't, yeah. Yeah, it it's not like... Yeah. Now, my back isn't fixed. It's still really hard to move. It's just like, but my walk's been a little better. My walk's been a little bit. <laughs> and the pain's not quite as bad. His walk leveled up. I said eight felt like I was... I said eight felt... Eight? eight? Oh, I said... I, I don't know. I'm going to let you rewrite that because... <laughs> I can't... I don't even know what's going on with that. What are you saying, Bobby Miser? I think you're I think you're still on the meds. But it's okay. I love you anyway. Anyway. Okay, this is the deck. I felt... I said I felt... Oh, I felt like I was... On Heron and Munson, so I took it weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was at the very end. I don't think that was. I don't think that's worthy of an apology, though. That's not a huge deal. You're being ridiculous. Sometimes you just gotta do heroin, whatever, man. Good old Bone be... Euler skeleton lord. Hey, that's what I should do for my back pain. Just start doing heroin. No pain. And demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have just no... talking about drugs, man. Is I have no demonetized? pain because I can't feel anything. All right, so um. This is like an old school stream. Why? Late night. Because of heroin? Yeah, because of heroin. That's dark, <laughs> man. Okay. So yeah, I can see taking out one bit of blossom for the the Soren Lord of Innistrad. I like this Soren. It makes one ones for, for a plus, which is good. This guy makes two two twos and then he dies. I don't care about that. Mike, I also have low back issues and I have some tips if you want them. Uh, lay them out. I'll take any Let's advice. Throw them, throw them in the throw them in the I tried in, a couple weird stretches that didn't seem to help. Um, what are we using start to finish for? I'm not a huge fan of it. It seems kind of... Uh, we'll start to finish, too. You make two one ones for three. Uh, and Aftermath, you can cast from the graveyard. It's an additional cost. You sack a dude to destroy a guy. So it's basically like a sack a dude, kill a guy. Like a bone splinters. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you on... Um, what did you say? You said something. Thoughtsies. I agree with the Thoughtsies is probably useful somewhere. Here's a tip for you, Mike. Don't sneeze. Hmm. Oh, God. That's true. That's factual. So I'm going to put two Thoughtsies in. 
What are we bringing in Ath Atri Athreos? Athreos. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm going to take the start to finish out. And I can also leave... Um, the Soren's already taken out. I would take out this other Soren too. I don't really care about him. But we'll leave him for now. I want to play the deck first before I make a lot of changes. Make sure you get your 250 steps every hour a minute. Even if it's every hour... Every hour a minute? Oh, every hour minimum. Okay, that makes more sense. Hmm. Drink extra water. I drink a lot of that. Yeah, he's always he, he's water drunk most of the time. See, the big problem is that it depends on if it's bonular, as it were, and bonular. by by bonular I mean uh, spinal disc disc problems, or if it's muscular, because stretches and things are not going to be great for 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 disc problems because it doesn't it doesn't work. That's not yeah, but if it's like a nerve or a muscle thing, then stretches will help. Anyway, I'm going to get over here. You guys can keep chatting. Love watching best friends play. Structural? I don't know why I said that extra O in the end there. All right, let's... Bontologist. Well, I don't like to brag about my bone degree, but... I have... <laughs> Stretch that disc right out of alignment. Yeah, I feel like that was what I did at one point in my life, and then I had to get back surgery. And I'm really hoping that Mike can avoid that same... Uh... Yeah, surgery, A, it's really expensive. B, I don't know how I'm going to take four weeks off work. Yeah, that would be brutal. Just tell him you're working from home. Oh, yeah, that works. Mulliganos, the god of mulligans. Like, even if I were to wait till next year and take all my vacation at one time, it would still only be enough for two weeks. Yeah, but did you try not doing that instead? Hmm. Oh, pepper question. Which pepper helps best with back pain? Uh, none. <laughs> <laughs> what if you rub the pepper on your back as a form of, uh... What you want to make sure is make sure there's an open wound first, then do it. Yikes. Yikes. So what you're saying is I can cut your back open and rub peppers into it? Yeah, that should cure it. I think I think we'll do that. Huh. We can video it, put it on YouTube. Yeah, what could go wrong oh, with sorry, that? sorry, no, we'll have to put it on, like, the other site. Where they where you can kill people on it because that's basically what you're gonna do. What other site? World Star? No. <laughs> What's the website? World Star. It's World Star. No, not World Star. World Star. Live leak. That's the one. Don't they all have capsaicin? Isn't that yes. all peppers? All peppers contain capsaicin. Your mother contains capsaicin. <clears throat> if she eats peppers, yes. And if she doesn't? No. Got her. Wow, they have all three of them on, on, turn, on turn three. And that's their play. All right. Well, that's exciting. Ghost pepper. Oh, I see. You were making... That was your point. I got gotcha. you. Ghost pepper in open wound takes the pain in a new direction, so back then is fine. Oh, an oblivion. Look at this oblivion stone. Look at that beauty. Oh. Well. My name is Michael and I live in the garbage can. That's true. <laughs> That's a factual statement. Um, if I play this, they just exile, which is real sad. I do not know what to do. Could just play Lingering Souls and Bash. Yeah, but then they exile the Lingering Souls, which is real sad. I guess that's okay. I don't think it's terrible. I really don't like playing Lingering Souls when they have a Relic out. Like, they're not going to be able to actually play this tap. Oh, they just let me do it. Alright, whatever. Not... Not thrilled about it, but not sure we have other options here. Wait, why didn't they? Why didn't they use their relic at the end of my turn? Maybe they don't know it has that mode. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're playing with Black Border Tron Land, so they got that going for them. But they didn't use relic at EOT. Oh, now you're gonna use it. All right. Well, that's the thing, I guess. You exile this. Oh, my. Mm, okay. Get rid of that, I guess. That was fascinating. I'm fascinated. 
Oh, I'll play by ancient stirrings. Mike, you look so happy now. Are you are you drugged up right now? I don't know what you're doing. I'm just doing a pose. I don't know. Are you being super kawaii? Kawaii Destiny. Is that is that right? I don't know. I think that's I think that's the meme. But you're not sure. No, I'm not. You'll never know. Yeah, this I feel like this match is pretty bad for us when they have Oblivion Stone out. What do we have more of? Oblivion Stone still destroys things, right? It destroys everything. So it'll take a bunch of damage. Yeah, I guess that's true. They will take like 10,000 damage. There was a sun one. I guess we have to hit Karn here, unfortunately. You hit Karn or he hit you. <laughs> or he hit you. Yeah, this is definitely too, too many lands. Agreed. Agreed. They kind of have to take a turn off to do this. But then they lose their Karn, I guess. So, it's not terrible. I guess they could take a turn off to put a counter on Karn and then get rid of one of these guys. You know, if you want. Yeah, you got it. All right, they did not do that. One, two, three, four damage on board, and Karn is at 11. Yikes. Man, you keep streaming at times that are reasonable for me. I'm trying. Actually, that's not true. I don't know if I'm trying to do that specifically, but we're getting there. All these plays are very interesting. I have no idea. You looking at that? Yeah, that's a fake? Mm-hmm. bah <laughs> It looks so real, man. It, I agree. The quality is high. I just watched a stream of Swole Mike and I died laughing at the E-Witness Plow Under segment. Is that a good one? Did we get real excited about Plow Under E-Witness? They did get plowed. They got plowed a bunch. Well, that's pretty okay. Does that make tokens? You make tokens. Attack all at you. Even this blood arse is getting in there. Let's scry. Oh, I'll keep that guy on top. I guess we just pass here. Oh, I'm going to blow everything up. Oh, they're going to put a fake counter on their little carny. With their little carnarino. Carny boy, oh, carny boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling. Thanks for the suggestion. I bought my first hand blurters today. Going with the white splash and angling rinse. I like it. I would play that deck. Do you have gray merchants? Gray merchants? I felt like I said that weird. Did Do I, I have that? any? No. No, of course you don't. Oh, that's sad that you'd do that. I guess I should have expected that. Thank you. Ponu, thank you so much for the... Ponu, Pono, Ponu? Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will say I've caught so much Twitch live lately that the broken leg is a small victory for me. Thanks for always being us. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. It's all going away. Uh, sack this guy. So we know the top card is... I don't actually know how we win here. Karn can just restart the game, but I guess they only get a thing. So I don't think they're restarting the game anytime soon. Uh, do we even want this guy anymore? No, not really. No. <clears throat> well, they're at seven. And we're at a thousand. Nope, definitely don't want that. What up, Hodge Gulashi? And then they take another... Actually, they're at three? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. This is where they play Worm Coil Engine. Oh, we'll play by Worm Coil Engine, you see? You see. Sylvan Scrying. That's not even close to a Worm Coil Engine. Look at that, look at that weird art, though. Look at that weird worm. That weird. I ain't never seen it before. Before? Mm hmm. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, you're thinking. Haiku, you're thinking of uh, Thief of Sanity. They're at three? Wow, that's so low, man. How is Not low it? enough. That's what I said. Oh, they took it. Dang. If they play like Ulamog here, I think we scoop, even though we got them to three, which God, they're just they're not doing anything. What's even happening right now? Unless they want to play another Sanctum of Ugin. No, they just got a mine. Alright. So everything we play can just get exiled by Karn for the next 10,000 turns. This is awkward. This is awkward. Why is Karn so big? Can you answer that? Did you see that cat in that box? What? He might have been gone by then. What was the cat in the box? Yeah, he was sitting in the box. Oh, now you're just taking lands? Wow, that's, that's aggressive. Wow. What? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to scoop here because they're going to get uh, something. Some nonsense here. You want to find out what? Oh, they got another Karn. Never mind. Well, no, they're playing the Karn. They're going to get something else. Maybe I should have found out. As long as they're actually... Whenever another creature you own dies, return it to your hand. I, th I actually like that because it's good against Oblivion Ring. Oblivion Stone. Oblivion Ring Stone. Cell phone ringtone. <laughs> Cell phone ringtone. Yeah, drop top, shut them down, open up shop. Amazing. That's how, that's how Rough Riders roll. Nailed it. I'm going to take out this Westvale Abbey, and I'm also going to take out uh, one, probably one, Cold Bloodstained Mire. going to 19 land no we're going to bring a ghost course oh, okay uh do you think team x ever found the hood i don't know maybe where the hood where the hood where the hood at <laughs> this kills all their things so that's good all right we'll bring in one of those guys i imagine he found it dmx lose a lot of things oh grandma's here I was waiting all night at the senior center for you two boys to come by and have some pie with me. I guess there's always next year if I'm alive. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I will keep this hand. If only we knew. I would have came by for some pie. Yeah, Grandma, I would have come. Can you sing this song? Can you take me higher? Yeah. Why, why would I sing it? Because it's a good song. It's okay. It's a good song, man. You don't like Creed? They're okay. You don't like Creed, man? Can you take me? You don't like Creed? Not particularly. God, they're one of the best bands of the 90s? Yeah, right. 2000s? <laughs> so one thing I automatically want to change, I don't like Rally of the Ancestors here. The problem is your creature, you don't have that many creatures in the deck. Um... And, like, it exiles them, so if you don't have a sack outlet for, like, your all your Blood Artists and your uh, your Zulaport Cutthroats, is that you just they just come into play and then they die. You get an attack out of them if you do it EOT. But the deck also doesn't have that much mana. So, like, you want to... Like, if you have, like, five lands, you're going to get three guys back, maybe. Wow, that was brutal. Why would you do that? That was pretty rude. I'm going to do this immediately. They didn't. Oh, that was a good draw. So they do it now and they do it again. God, that sucks. God, they keep having Relic here and I keep having Lingering Souls and no real recourse. 
Creed, most underrated band ever changed my mind. No, I'm good. Mitchell, why are you just yelling? Why are you yelling Trial of the Ancestors? What did I say? Did I say something different? Or are you just yelling it? What's that card actually do? What? Really answers. Uh, return each creature with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard. So you name two because all your guys cost two or less. Um, and then exile them at the beginning of your next upkeep. And then you exile Rally the Ancestors. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of... So the sack outlet, uh, it's pretty good. Oh, you meant to actually do... I mean, I'd much rather have just, like, more Bitter Blossoms. That was a good hit. You can only play four Bitter Blossoms, Frank. I think there's only three, though. I think we took one out for this Soren, but I, I get your point. I get your point here. I like that this is not legendary. That is great. Can I get two boops? Soren, yeah, Karn can't exile Soren emblems. That is a true story. Oh, I see. Yep, you can have my rally. And my rally. That's from uh, Lord of the Rings. And my cat. Mike's cat. I don't want your cat. That's not going to help me. You can have my cat. If you want to. You can cat if you want to. You can leave that cat behind. Because your friends don't cat. And if they don't cat. But I think it's important to play Soren in negative one Soren. Negative two Soren. Negative two to make an emblem. There's nothing that interacts with emblems. No. Yeah, it is. It's for all, for all intents and purposes, it's considered outside the game. Give me that emblem. We can also just deal them 10 or 8. But I'm pretty sure we just want to go to their car and, and kill that idiot, right? I think. Yeah, he's got to go. He's got to go. That carny boy has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. I wish I could just get rid of a permanent here so that these both would trigger and I'd get, I'd get some things. Oh, you can restart the game to remove an emblem. True. You know what? I'll give you that. I kept, I collected it. This is the only card in my hand. Just take it. You don't gotta ask me for it. We can actually never kill it if he just keeps plussing it. Why? These are two. These are twos. Oh. I got an emblano. My mistake. Oh, how nice. <laughs> so obnoxious man this card is so stupid it's a colorless wrath they shouldn't have it that kills all your permanents as well like all your creatures and your planeswalkers and all your things did you hear those noises I made too <laughs> yeah it was not they were not good you might say they were bad actually Men without cats. Because your friends don't have cats. And if they don't have cats, then they're no friends of mine. You know what? This song is going nowhere. Were you here when I showed off that note from Nick? Yeah. So this Pokemon card is actually an ear fetched. It's actually a fake Pokemon card. Huh. You can tell by how thin it is. Look how thin that thing is. I don't really know much about Pokemon cards, but oh, it feels fake. It is. So this is the... Um, do they just exile my Shambling Vent? That's cool. This is the card, and it's, it says Ear Fetched, not Far Fetched. And also, I am right. I can go right through it. I'm basically a vampire on stream. Wow, so the next turn they just played another card and another Oblivion Stone. That's super cool. I'm having a good time. 
Well, now you got two one ones, so I'm pretty sure we win. I can't lose now. They're two ones. Oh, sorry. Okay. They're two ones. Why are you like this? Ear fetched was Van Gogh's nickname. Yikes. Maybe you just blow everything up. You ever think about that? They just put Karn to seven, yeah, and then like they put a counter on Karn. And then we deal four to Karn, and then they blow this up and we have no guys. They do have one card in their hand, so. Well, let's hit that Carney boy. Oh, Carney boy. Did we just go to their face? Hold on, let's go. Let's see what happens here. How do we win this game? We can put them to 11. If we play these, one, two, three, four, five, they take five, go to six. I feel like we just can't play anything this turn. They're just going to plus Karn next turn and get rid of our Blood Artist. And if we play the Blood Artist, they're just going to Oblivion Stone and keep Karn. It's just like there's no way to really win this game, unfortunately. This is why I want Stony Silence on the sideboard just to deal with Oblivion Stones. Stony Silence is so good against this matchup. Because it shuts off all... It shuts off Oblivion Stone and Chromatic Star. This game is winnable by Meteor. That's a good point. Like, is it a meteor hits our opponent's house and they disconnect from the game? Correct. Okay. We could also <laughs> we could also get a draw uh, where the meteor hits both of us, I suppose. I'm just going to go to their face. God, okay, I'll change the title because all you guys are... God, everybody's a comedian. They're just really bad comedians. Sure. Saw that coming. So next turn they exile this guy and then they blow everything up, right? And they get to keep corn. Seems good. It doesn't seem bad. Or they just go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh wow. It's a bold strategy. Huh. See, but like, even now, like, Rally the Ancestors would only get back this one Blood Artist. I feel like the deck doesn't have enough creatures to... Uh, a com meat, Ian? Is that a comment joke? Is that a meat joke? Is that a... Is that an, I, an iDubs joke? I can't tell. E-dupes. It's e-dupes. Mike, do you like gin? Not really. Why not? Because it tastes like rubbing alcohol. That's all alcohol. No, but like gin, in my opinion, is the most rub alcohol -y. Then again, I've only had gin once, so. Maybe you should. Know? Maybe we should. We'll have to get you drunk off gin, maybe I, I had guess. A, maybe I had a bad gin. It's a common story among men your age. A bad gin? Yeah, Mike had a bad gin. It's like a badger, but different. I don't remember the brand of gin it was. Wow, this Karn is going ham here. Can you just play your Ulmog and so I can scoop? <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, the three Karn draw. Oh, how nice. I mean, they could have just killed that anyway. Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. I don't foresee how we win this. They exile after us. Okay, so... Yeah, there's 20 creatures in the deck, but it doesn't feel like it. We can definitely cut one of these. I definitely want four Bitter Blossoms. Bitter Blossoms is like the strongest card in the deck. Yeah. Um, I don't think... Like, we have 21 lands. I don't think we're going to get to six mana to activate Westvale Abbey effectively enough. I'd rather just have the Ghost Quarter in the main deck. Um, I'd rather just have a second Ghost Quarter in the main deck as well. I also think if we're running this many uh, hidden stockpiles and we want to be uh, revolting, I think we can add another fetch land. We'll probably cut one swamp. I don't think we need two swamps here. So ghost quarters in the main deck. 
could probably also cut one of these. I don't know if they're great, but they're, I, mean, I think they're good. I, I like the emblem. The emblem is really powerful here. I don't even like this Sorn. Get out of here, Sorn. Here's what I would do. I would cut both these rallies. I think they're too cute. I would add another Sorn, and I would add one more Flooded Strand, likely. And then we get a lot more sideboard space. Uh, Stone Silence? Take out the Sundering Growth. Yeah, I like Stony Silence. Do, 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 do. What was the other thing someone mentioned? Um, Dampening Sphere? Actually, Dampening Sphere might be better. Yeah. Yeah, let's do Dampening Sphere. It's like the new Stony Silence. And it also deals with, like, Storm decks, which aren't really a thing anymore. One, two, three. I also like adding another Ley Line. And another Thought Seize. I think that's good. I do, I do wish we had more Oryak Champions here. I'm going to cut a Fragmentize for another Oryak Champion. I don't think I have another Oryak Champion. We'll leave it like this for right now. We'll see how this does. I do like 22 lands. Gideon? Which Gideon? The 4-drop Gideon? No, I like Soren better just because he makes lifelink. And you don't lose him when you make his emblem. Uh, I do have Field of Ruins, but not in the deck because I don't think you have... You don't really have the mana to activate the Field of Ruin and do anything else, but maybe. Could be fine. Maybe Field of Ruin's better. I actually don't know. We'll try Field of Ruin instead. They're both being used to um, to trigger Revolt a lot of times, too. The Aristocrats. Like you do. Good talk. Do what now? Do what now? I've been hearing good things about the Ballad of Buster Scruggs on Netflix. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. It is a Coen Brothers movie. Go on. What, that's, what else do you need from me? What's it about? It's like a western. Okay. Oh, this hand is... Load it up. I'll right, it right now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, 93 on Rotten Tomatoes. That's good. That's a solid, solid gentleman. Do you see that movie with Kurt Russell? <laughs> As Santa? I don't think so. Who would you say is beardier between you and Mike? Beardier? Depends on what the qualifications of the beardier, but being beardier is. More beard? Better beard? Thicker beard? What what beard spider amount? What can what what constitutes beardier? Thank you. Oh, Inquisition. Oh, that's well. This hand is significantly worse now. Kassim, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I wow. think you automatically win because my mustache isn't attached to my beard. What's it attached to? Nothing. Your butt. It stops right here. It doesn't go any farther. Really? Yeah. Or maybe I just haven't let it grow long enough. I don't know. Amateur hour. I hope we can just win off these two one ones. Like theoretically, twenty two lands is not uh, enough to be drawing five lands, and like we have, it's almost it's almost a two to one between spells and and lands, but we're drawing five lands and three spells, so that is unfortunate. I'm having a bad time. Well, our opponent is playing Sultai, which is nice. Hey, man, are you betraying little... No, man, I was going to get another. I was going to get a... Him a friend? Yeah, I was going to get a big Roomba. Or a big dumpling. Oh, another land. That's great. I'm actually going to kill their say, their breeding pool to take them off one of their colors. I will get a swamp for now. Mike has a free running mustache attached to nothing. <laughs> it's, it just sits on my face. I have no control over it. It's true. That's sad. Surely get that thing under control. They're going to get an island. You ready? Oh, no, they're going to get like a watery grave or breeding pool. Yep, there it is. They're so special. Dang it. 
keep it together. Oh wow! Look at this engineer explosives on one main deck engineer. Exp- oh, God. Eight lands. This is not happening. Well, maybe if you cracked your fetch lands. I don't want to crack my fetch lands because I have things that need revolt. You could probably crack one. I probably could crack one. I could probably crack two, to be honest with you. You probably crack corn. I wouldn't care. <laughs> well, that's that's what matters to me. That's the that's the important part. I feel like we want something like Falcon Wrath Aristocrat in here, just to just to like swing in and deal a bunch of damage. Like nug you for four. It's a sack outlet. Do we have Viscerous here? I don't think so. Yeah, we do. In the deck? I think so. We do have four Viscerous here. I haven't seen them once. Oh, I see. Well then. We already have man lands in here. There's two creature lands in the deck. Oh, joke's on you. My hand sucks. Idiot. <laughs> that was aggressive. Oh, got him. They can't win now. I feel like these are these matches are not indicative of the overall quality and power of the deck right now. We have four lingering souls, right? Okay, good. I want to be honest. I don't think we need. I don't think we need these one drops. Because I feel like we're trying to be like a Soul Sisters deck, but we're also trying to be a blood, an aristocrat deck. Like, when you have Blood Artist and Zulaport Cut Through, you want to put multiple creatures into play from single cards, right? Like, um, like Raise the Alarm or like Lingering Souls, so that you're getting a bunch of value. Oh, I see. You're just going to... What do you got? Land, Sorcery, Instant. Yep, you got it all. We do always make our six land drop. That is true. That is true. And I'm tempted to rework the mana base just so we can play Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Because like a 4-1 haste creature that can't be fatal push seems pretty decent in modern. Oh, that is a big ass Tarmogoyf. 7-8? Jesus. That guy's not going to do it. <laughs> All right, so Orac Champion actually seems good here. Thoughtseize seems all right. I want to take out the Souls Attendant. You are worse Souls Warden. I'll take out one Hidden Stockpile, I think. Actually, Atheris could be good. Oh, I do like Dark Confidant. That seems good. Yeah, that seems real good for this deck, actually. Jon Snow was the the Soul Warden of the North. Did you know that? Can I go home now? <laughs> can I go home now? Can I, can I leave now? Eh, I like Fatal Push, actually. It kills those Tarmogoyfs. Well, those Tarmogoyf boys are at it again. Whenever it or another creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. Whenever it or another creature dies, start play loses one life. Okay, so this is the same card. It's functionally similar. Except this is target opponent. Is this, is Zulu Park Cutthroat each opponent? Yeah. Is it really? Yep. Do you know because of Commander? Yep. Dang. Dang. That's that's brutal. Is your doctor's appointment scheduled yet? That's a good question. The answer is no. I can't with this guy. I 
And believe me, I've tried. <laughs> we need a jazz battle on MTV Arena Kansas City style. What does that even... Kyle, what does that even mean? What's a jazz battle? I mean, I know what a jazz battle is. What's a jazz battle in terms of MTG Arena, though? Is that where you light up a bunch of jazz cigarettes and play Magic the Gathering online? Is that like when the devil went down to Georgia? Because he was looking for a soul to steal? And then he got in that fiddle battle? Yeah, I like Falcon Earth Aristocrat a lot. It feels like you can probably close out games with Falcon Earth Aristocrat. I clearly don't jazz battle. And I feel bad about it now. You guys are really jazz battle shaming me. Fiddle battle, yeah. Oh yeah, they took that card I can't even cast, which is it's very good against them, but nonetheless, I can't cast it. I'm just gonna play this and then this. And then next turn I'll play this and then I'll play this. Can't lose. Can't lose. Did you hear what I said? I just don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> I just think you're a liar. Alright, well that's fair. I don't know, that's all I play is arena. Also left my ass off jazz cigarettes. Yeah. That's true. No, we got a different drinking source. Well, I'm gonna pour it in here because I'm running out of juice in here. Would you say Pop was running out of juice? I would say that. Look at this guy. Actually I got a good amount of juice in here left. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'll just leave it off for now. That could only end well. You can only end well. Thank you. Got him. Give me another Zulu Port Cutthroat here. That'd be great. That's not what I asked for. Biscuits. Well, we can't attack you. We battle arena while listening to sweet tunes. I mean, I would do that anyway. I don't need... I don't need you to tell me to do that. You played the wall. What if we what if we battle um what if we battle arena while you play sweet tunes for us? Clambert uh is actually a trumpet player. I could see that. How can you see that? Cuz his name is Clambert. What what does that mean? It just feels like a trumpet player's <laughs> name. <laughs> you got a your name has a trumpet player feel to it. My man. Manate. Kessim, it's after this. My post, my my up, my um, my stream title is always in order of when things happen. Unless you're lying. That's true. If uh, in the situation where I'm lying, that's not the case. What are you doing now? What's happening right now? Are they going to mind shatter us? Remember how good mind shatter was? I bet you forgot. That's okay. No, I remember. <laughs> you remember? I remember. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Um, well. His creatures are bigger than ours. I don't like that. I don't like this. I'll just play you, I guess. Well. Hope you don't die. They're just gonna they're just gonna maelstrom pulse this guy and then we're gonna Vampire is black. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I'm like, what color is this card? Oh, Clamber with the sub. Two months in a row. Thank you, buddy. Jazz boys. Both at this guy? Alright, I'm just going to block here. So here's the question. Do we scry? Or do we gain the one life? I think we scry. Scrying seems infinitely more valuable. <laughs> I thought the deck was white. I didn't. I never thought the deck was white. Frank, you get to ask Hunter one question and he's able to answer back. Honestly, what would you ask? Oh my god. I would ask, what can I do to make you happier as a dog? That's a good answer. Because I don't know what it is, you know? Like, I can never tell if he's happy or if he's sad or if he's, like, stressed out. Of course. I, why would you... Why would you... I don't understand. Why wouldn't you just attack us and kill that anyway? That's a weird thing to do.
I was going to play the vent, but I'd rather just play this and make four tokies with my jazz cigarettes. Four tokies on the jazz cigarette, if you know what I'm saying. I think I do. I think you do. That's a lot of creatures. You're right. This is where they go. Maelstrom Pulse number two. And then I go QQ. And then you sack all four of them and deal them a bunch of damage. But then they're all dead and they can deal us eight, so. But we gain life? We gain four, yeah. And we can think of all the scrying we'll be doing. <laughs> Andre, what's the outside of a tree called? Bark. Wow. Oh, boy. Amazing. That is amazing. That is... I'm going to block with one floaty boy. Oh, floaty boy. I was just going to comment about the Toki's Jazz Singer. <laughs> Again, we're going to sack this because I want to be scrying. I did. I did sacrifice a creature. Take some Tokis on our Jazz Singer. Oh, we can also sack the target they pulse to keep the rest. Oh, yeah, that's that a good sense. idea. That's a smart play. Oh, nope. See, this is the only way we don't draw lands in this deck, is just scry them to the bottom. Why don't you scry about it? I don't have to. You can never make me. Oh, that's sad. I think I just want to attack with this guy. Yeah. Let's go all in. Yeah, but the problem is that we don't have another black source to play this guy if they kill this. See what I'm saying? They ain't gonna kill it. They would have killed it by now. They would also have to kill this and kill these. They also probably prioritize the cutthroat. I don't think they're I don't think they have anything to kill anything in hand. That's actually a good point. I'll give you that. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for us. Probably wanna leave the O one back. I don't have an O one. This isn't a blood artist. Oh right. My bad. They're just gonna snap if they snapcast her, that's really weird. I'm going to let that happen because I want the land. And I do wish we kept... Now I wish we kept the uh, the other... Could have got a swamp there. We only have any... I, oh. I took one of the swamps out. Now I wish we kept the other swamp so I could play Viscerous here, but I think it's still fine. They're at five. Now they're at four? Thank you. They're basically dead. Authentic David, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Upgrading from a prime to a real sub. Wow. That's I hope that's your final form. Thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate it. This is aggressive. Are they gonna damnation here, you think? They gotta have, have something. I have two man lands though. Oh my god, they are. One, two, three, activate, one, two. If I hit a land, I just win, right? One, two. Bottom. All right, so they're basically dead. We can also just attack for uh, one, two, three, activate. We'd have one black. I'm just going to try to win. If we hit any black source, we win the game, so... Yep, that'll do. And they should just concede here because they know what's going on. But maybe they don't. Shambler. Get busy shambling. You know what I always say, get busy living or get busy shambling. How many times do you say that? I think I say it at least once a day. Mm. Mm. Do you doubt that? Yes. Well, you're probably right to do so. All right. Don't care about Leyline. I do want the other Blood Artist, though. I think, I mean, I just, I, I want a Blood Artist over one of Soul Warden. I don't know. Eh, it's just me. But if they go Damnation and we go, and we have Athreos out, that seems pretty strong. How do you feel about that? Fine. I feel fine about it. You okay? I'm just Justin. No, your name is Mike, not Justin. 
I said I'm just a Justin. Yeah, you're not a Justin. Oh. You're a Mike. Oh my God. <laughs> this hand is fantastic. You mean serious, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh my. God. <laughs> You corrected yourself like, no, no, no. That's not what I said. Oh, that got even better. Jesus. <laughs> I feel like it shouldn't have been that funny, but here we are. Here we are. Oh, we got a little pepper now. This feels like a good card against them. I mean, they have they have Abrupt Decay and Assassin's Trophy, though, so... Are we going to see an Assassin's Trophy here? Oh, Pepper... <laughs> no, no Assassin's Trophy. All right. I like it. This is the quality content you guys pay for, Maelstrom Pulse. Liliana! Oh, you're going to... You're going to not... That's not... I actually think I want to just keep these and discard a land here. I have enough lands that I can discard. And next turn we can discard one to play both. Clamor with 10 bones? To be or not to be, Bop? I like it. I'm a fan. Oh. Oh. What's old Cuddy Boy? What's well, Souls, right? And then next turn we can go Cutthroat Flashback, Cutthroat Flashback. All right. This is basically just a tokens deck where you want to take advantage of Zulaport Cutthroat and Blood Artist, though, right? How's your pepper doing? Good. How's your back doing? Not as good. Worse than the pepper, you'd think? I think so. Huh. Mike, which pepper would you select for a wing sauce that is sweet and a little tangy? Um, Sweet and a little tangy. Hmm. I'm bad with names. I'm Frank. <laughs> You're not Justin. Your name is Mike. Oh, God. I hate you so much. You know, you think you hate me. But that's love talking, buddy. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cutthroats. Let's play this. And do we just, like, play another... If we play cutthroat, they immediately kill it. I think we're just going to play all the Lingering Souls here. What's the name of that sauce that tastes like barbecue sauce? What's well, a sauce, not a pepper, though. Oh, what pepper? Oh, habanero, then. They go very well with mangoes. Question to Mike. If you are on an Uber ride sandwich between two Dutch girls, which pepper should you use to spice it up? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to pass on that one. Why? You don't know the answer? I don't know the answer. No. Oh, good. Link on engineering explosives. What could possibly go wrong? Literal everything. It's hard to win with it. Also, the turn that we don't have the cutthroat out. Well, they would have just... They would have used Liliana to kill it anyway. Oh, sure. Wow, death mark in your deck? What in the earth? What does that even kill? One lingering soul token? I right, found final answer. I'd go with the nice. <laughs> How about the Serrano pepper? There you go. That's a good. That's a good answer. Or perhaps a Scotch bonnet. Your mother's got a Scotch bonnet. Why didn't he? Oh, he's just waiting till we attack. I guess. Play the cutthroat. Maybe he won't respond. Oh, he'll respond. All right. But what if he doesn't? Oh, he will. But what if? Oh, he will. Just try it. You will respond. Just in case. You Come will on. do it. Michael, listen. Quick one for you, Mike. You're planning to go on a walk. What kind of pepper do you put in your shoe to make a little pep in your step? Well, unless you have any open wounds, that's not really going to affect anything. But if you do have an open wound, I'd go for a more mild pepper, perhaps a jalapeno. You don't want too much pep. Yes, you do. Maybe you don't. 
Maybe you don't want. Exactly. Now oh, there goes all the tokens. Zula portals. This is where they go, Neg and, ne and Neg and Plus. It's just hard to beat two Lilianas when you have. Stupid Planeswalker rule. Why can you have two now? I don't even up. know why you fail push there. You just have two Lilianas. You can just. Oh, I guess because you want maybe the big one to go up. You're playing. Oh, <laughs> I just. You read that one already. That's a good one. Here's a Tarmogoyf. This, I feel like this breaks the space-time continuum in some way, right? Mike, can you only eat banana peppers or on bananas or no? It's very confusing. Mike, can you only eat banana peppers on bananas or no? The answer to that is no. You can eat banana peppers on whatever you want. No, they got to be on bananas. No, they don't. Yeah. Mike, how does a chili compare to a pepper? Those are literally the same things in different languages. Yeah, I think we are way behind here, unfortunately. All right, so I'm going to move things around a little bit. Uh, what's a Vampire Falconrath? The problem is we have a lot of one-for-ones in the deck. Like, all of the all of the one-drops um, are just, they're like one-for-ones. But you're not taking advantage of the life gain qualities of the deck, right? Of, like, a, a deck like, say, Soul Sisters. I have a PhD in banana peppers. You have to eat them on bananas. Wow. Mike, can you blend a banana pepper into your frappuccino? You could. I don't know how well that would go. See, I think you want more just token generators in general. So I'm wondering. Wow, I didn't know you can get a PhD in banana peppers, but that's actually pretty impressive. I concur. You might want to add some red lands to the... No, I don't. Okay. Just kidding, I do. Really? That wasn't good enough for Crypt? Okay. Blood Crypt. One, Blood Crypt. What's the Mardu? What's the other one? The Sacred Foundry? Yeah, let's do that one. One, Sacred Boy. I'll take out one Concealed Courtyard. I'll take out one Flooded Strand. It's probably fine. Um, we have six slots to fill now. I think you want thought seizes in the main deck, so we're gonna add four thought seizes. Nope. What? Wait. Why aren't you adding more? Oh, cause. Oh, all right. Cool. That's fine. And now we get two slots, and I think you want. I think you just want something that makes tokens, like a gather, raise the alarm. Mike, thoughts on pepperoncini on Papa John's pizza? It's good. Pepperoncinis are good on all things. Uh, Cube is in the stream's future as soon as I do this deck critique, which I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm going to take one Falcon Rother Strat and bring in three Raise the Alarms. Good play, Rabble Master. Oh, I kind of like Rabble Master a lot, actually. Oh, that's gas. Is Ravmaster better than Legion Warboss? I think so. Why? Let's compare the two. Okay, so we have... They both make 1-1s. One They're both 2-2s two for 3. Uh, other goblin creatures you control attack each turn of Fable, which can be a liability. Sure. Um, this one only makes the guy it makes that turn have to attack. This guy gets bigger if you have a bunch of goblins, but this guy will always make at least one token bigger per combat. So you can attack with this on a 1-1 flyer and make the flyer bigger. I think Legion Warboss is actually better. Okay. I think it's just pretty situational. I think you're pretty situational. I want to add more red mana to the deck now. Uh, Don't tell me what to do. Probably those swamps should just be more uh, Bloodstain or Crips. But now we need to cut more things. I'm going to cut one hidden stockpile. Robmaster's been right there, but they cost the same thing. They both cost three. It doesn't even make any sense. You're spouting nonsense. I 
think we can cut one of the. Eh, I don't like that. Really? Yeah, like it's it's kind of like how you win games. What is? The... Right, but we have seven of them. Like seven's a lot. Plus, we also have like better win conditions now. Weathered Wayfarer. I'm never going to activate that guy. That's way too slow. Kind of like Mike. What? I... <laughs> What'd you say? I'm gonna I'm gonna add I'm gonna add another Athreos. What'd you say to my boy? Oh, why do we only have two of these? I really want three of these in here. I'm gonna add one more Athreos. I think. Hmm. I really like another Oriac champion. To be quite honest, I'm gonna add one more Oriac champion. I do feel like we want more than two uh, red lands in the deck, though. Hidden Snake Pile? That's not even a card, unfortunately. That's when there's a snake in your boot. All right, so what do we got here? Godless Shrine. We can probably take out the Godless, at least one Godless Shrine. And we can put one Field of Ruin in the sideboard instead, just to add later if we need it. And now we can add more red sources, like another Bloodstained Mire and another Sacred Foundry, just in case. That's probably good enough. Yeah, let's try this. I think this is... I kind of like this. Now, if you're being serious, Hidden Stockpile says... It is a two-man enchantment. Okay, anytime. There we go. Uh, you can pay one and sacrifice a creature to scry, and it, at the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield, you make a 1-1. One, one. So you can sack a thing on your turn, make a 1-1 one, one at the end of your turn. Not even sack, like you can also just uh, crack a fetch land on your turn and play it and get a guy that turn. Like you do. It should be called uh, Snake Pile, though. Hey, man, you mind if I snort this? No, go for it, man. God. It's uh, it's some Crystal Light like, drink mix. So if he snorted that, I imagine his nose would actually bleed. Probably. Oh, I like this. It's got all our new cards in it. You're right. And we got two red sources to cast them with. Well, golly. Oh, what up, Kerwit? It's your boy, Kerwit. Well, that's sad. Hopefully, I'll take one Legion War Boss. When I was in fifth grade, a kid snorted Kool Aid powder and cried fruit punch tears. <laughs> Alexa said, hmm, I'm not sure. She doesn't know about that, I guess. I think Sisters is, not only, it's not, not that it's too cute, it just doesn't do anything for our plan. We're not a life gain deck, right? If you had, like, Sanguine Bond or something that said whenever you gain life, target opponent loses life, uh, that's one thing. Our plan is to just kill them with the cut port, the cut, the Zulaport Cutthroat, and the Blood Artist triggers, right? So, like, if you have something like Soul Sisters, like, it's just a different plan, Right? And the, the good thing about the, the Soul Sister, the um, the Soul Wardens and stuff in the like Soul Sisters deck is that you have a way to take advantage of all the life gain. This deck doesn't really have a way to take advantage of all the life gain. Yeah, he ruined our curve. Yeah, I don't like it. It's okay, we're going to draw a two-drop. It's just going to be a better Blossom off the top. Fatal Push, Fatal Push. Fatal Push. Hmm. Pretty good, sis. Lucky, 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 lucky. Pretty sneaky, sis. Well, it's a survival of it. Like the, the thing is, Zulaper Cutthroat and Blood Artist also gain you life. So if those guys are working as intended, you should be fine. Oh, interesting. They didn't do anything. So let's get another black source, I think. Maybe a white source? We also should probably have one mountain in this deck. Uh, the reason you don't put a mountain in the deck is because if they have blood uh, moon, then all your lands are mountains. You usually only put basics in, in your deck because you want to be able to prevent blood moon from doing its, doing its, doing its blood moon duty. You said duty. <laughs> didn't I?
Come on, one time. Ooh, we did it. We did it, boys. Also, now we get a, a card that makes creatures every turn and we can sacrifice them. That's pretty gas. That's nice. The red is a nice addition so far. Also, Aristocrat, like, even if they're able to kill it, usually you get at least a swing in, which is just four damage. And again, like, if you sack a human to it, you get a 1-1 one, one counter. I don't know why I say again there, like I said that already. You know what I mean? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Whatever, Michael. Oh, I think it's Blood Artist here, right? Blood Artist Viscerous here instead of the second Legion War Boss? Or is it the second Legion War Boss? Hmm. I think it's War Boss. I just want to make a bunch of guys. What's Ratgate 2018? How's your Rat Dead doing? I'm working on it. <laughs> He's getting there. I don't actually think we attack with the Legion War Boss because then I just block with Treetop Foes, right? It's a 3-3, three, three, right? No, well, no, it's 2-2. Two, two. The Treetop Village is 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Yeah, get him. Uh-oh. Oh, I was like, uh-oh. Now they're doing the thing. They're doing what we expected them to do. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. <clears throat> I think that's fine. Wow, Blood Artist next turn is pretty insane because we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures on board. Yikes. <laughs> I also love this combo where you can just sack whatever they Maelstrom Pulse. Um, I'm going to actually put that on the bottom now because they didn't play anything. We kept it thinking they would play something. And now that we know they don't have anything to block. Papa wants a land. Papa does want a land. Papa got the wrong land. But Papa can still play lots of things. And then next turn, Papa can likely win with this Viscera Seer. Or, I mean, Falcon or the Aristocrat. Oh, they just conceded from the game. I see. <laughs> Were they dead on board? One, two, three, four, five, six... And then we mentor onto something which is seven, so they would go to six. Oh, yeah, uh, one, dead. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they were actually dead. So, do we need white? Yeah, because you have lingering souls and hidden stockpile are really nice. And like raising, like raising the alarm could easily be Krenko's command. But I don't think you have a corollary, uh, another card like like lingering souls, and also white. Yeah, and lingering souls are really good. Yes, and white in the sideboard is very very good for cards. What are they playing? Green, black? I'm just going to bring an Athreos here. I like the Athreos. I didn't at first, and now I do. I didn't at first, but now I do. Good, good one. Good one. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I like that Hidden Stockpile stacks. Um, I like that when you have two hidden stockpiles, you make two one 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 ones for sacrificing one creature. Like that's excuse me, is there something wrong with your brain? Uh, it's the stroke I had, so mm. I'd appreciate it if you didn't make fun of me because that hurts my feelings. I'll take it under consideration. What's a main board? You had it in your main board? Your main beard? Is that a typo? What's a main board? You know what it is. We all know what it is, Frank. <laughs> Whatever, Justin. I didn't understand that reference. Well, that makes sense because you're not a Justin. <laughs> oh, God. I like that we can play fetch land on turn two, hidden stockpile, and get a free guy. That's pretty cool. Oh, really? You're going to be this guy again every game? You're going to be thought season on Inquisition me? Main reason for this deck was hidden. Yeah, I like hidden stockpile. I think it's good. That's why I'm trying to keep it in here. I think we cut one because it's not a card you want in multiples. I mean, you do, but not without creatures. You want creatures, and then you want hidden stockpiles. But yeah, see, they were so afraid of it that they just threw it in the trash can. Jokes on them. I'm gonna draw another one right now. I I, I lied. I apologize. The main board is juxtaposed to the side deck. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I 
Was that? I don't know if I can do it on the side of my mouth. <laughs> Is it like that? Play the push. Viscera seer. Biscuits. What kind of biscuits? Huntery butter biscuits? Huntery butter? Huntery butter biscuits? Huntery butter? Yeah. Is that biscuit? Is that... Fry Wilco, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Ha, 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 ha. Was that more Popeye? <laughs> I don't know how Ace Ventura does it. I'm pretty sure I did it close to Ace Ventura there. Oh, they took three. They took three, buddy. Here comes Lily. She's the pet detective. Oh, that's the good Lily. Oh, God, I hate that Liliana. I like this Liliana better than this one. And I, I hate playing against this Liliana more than I hate playing against this one, so... What, what does that tell you? It tells me all I need to know. No dogs allowed. <laughs> Why did you laugh at that? It was funny. Oh, all right, I'm sorry. Dang. My favorite biscuit? Um, I just recently had the church's biscuits, and they were really good. I was not impressed with the church's chicken tenders, though. Yeah, the tenders were kind of okay. I thought they were, like, no better than Publix. I thought they were worse than Publix by a large margin. Like, the breading fell off. Like, it just felt like they were they felt like they were just sitting under a fryer for uh, quite a while. Maelstrom Pulse? Oh, wow. Right. The weird thing is they made them fresh for us, so... Did they really? Yeah. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that, but, like, she, like when, I, when I was on the phone, she's like, can you drop tenders? I was like, okay. Really? Yeah. Huh. I thought I've liked I like Popeyes better than Churches so far because Popeyes has a better like Popeyes just has a better a crispier tender as far as I'm concerned. I think Popeyes chicken is definitely better. Agreed. Scavenging, but they ain't is, around here. Eh, get the timer back out of here. They ain't around here. I don't know how we're winning this game. Like if, if our opponents keep playing Liliana and Liliana against us, like it's really hard to to do anything about that. Popeyes also has red beans and rice, which I'm a fan of. I could care less about red beans and rice. What's wrong with you, man? It's delicious. Maybe. Maybe so. Ten Mike Church's biscuits are called communion. Are called communion? Mike Church's biscuits are called... What does that even mean? I don't even understand what's happening right now. You know who biscuits suck? Your mom's KFCs. biscuits? Got him! Wow. Let's get a planeswalker off the board at least. Um, if I had a choice, though, I would pick Azel as far as top tier tenders. It's been a long time since I had Azels. Azels is a little, uh, I wouldn't say chain. There's only like two locations in Seattle. And boy, ooh, those are some top tier tendies. T -t I do remember them being pretty good. If I ever visit, I would go there. I'd go to Azels with you. We can go together like Azels bros. Let's take a trip to Washington just to go to these L's. I, I can't win this, actually. Like, if they're going to kill everything in our hand, there's nothing I can do. They're also going to kill this. Liliana's going to go five. For our best draw is probably going to be, like, Lingering Souls or Falcon Earth Aristocrat. And neither of those were coming out. <sighs> the one thing I will say for KFC, though, is they have Nashville Hot Style Chicken, which is really good. I have not tried that yet, but I'm really tempted to. It's good. Okay, take it easy. It's good. Eat it. Oh. Okay. Although I'm sure there's other places for better of that. Oh, Kerwin, I would legit come hang out at your place and we can order some Mizzels. That sounds like gas, dude. Does he live in the Washingtonian? He lives in the Washingtonian, yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep this hand because I don't think it's great, but I also think it's pretty immune to things like Thoughtseize. So, do we turn one Thoughtseize? Maybe next year when I have more vacation time. I mean, that's if you're down in a wheelchair by then. That doesn't prevent me from going to Washington. Yeah, they don't let your kind on. Wow. On flights. Oh, Damnation, Assassin's Trophy, Maelstrom Pulse, Collective Brutality. I don't care about Damnation. Assassin's Trophy is beneficial. Probably Maelstrom Pulse here. This hand is actually not great for them. Huh. I think we play yeah. that. I 
I really don't like going to 13 here, but they don't really have anything, so. I don't want to get a planes because they have a trophy. Actually, I guess we can keep one planes in the deck. That's probably fine. Oh, we also cracked a fetch lane, which means you get a guy, which is great. I forgot about that. The rats will have probably taken Mike B's spine by next year as a payment. <laughs> Actually, maybe that's what happened. Maybe they're doing some... Maybe they're busting you up in your sleep because of your debt. Do you ever think about that? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, <laughs> joke's on you, dummy. Yes, yes it is. Sorry about your rat back. Rat back? Back rat? Pack rat? Back awry? Rack em and back em? Rat back em, sock em, robots? Just, just please, stop. <laughs> End my life, please. What are they playing? A Blooming Marsh? All right. So we know four of the six cards in your hand. Back rat. Did you mean backdraft? Wasn't that a Kurt Russell movie as well? Hey man, you like backdraft? You like firefighters? I don't know what that is. You don't know what firefighters is? No. <laughs> Damn. I have no idea what fire. Wait, play this the vent. No, because I want to crack this and get a land. So this is going to trigger because of this. Oh yeah. That's uh, true. So I want to be able to do that this turn because if I do it next turn, I'm going to take three, and I'd rather just take one here. He ain't doing nothing. Right, but they will be eventually. Nah. Look at all these guys we got now. Well, that's a weird choice. I feel like you could have done this before I got the token, but I accept your I accept your choice. Do you got any Zaxby's around here? Actually the reason we had double planes in the deck was because of Um the rally had two to white, but I think we actually cut one for for a mountain just to search for it. Mike did suggest a mountain earlier, so I'll give him credit for that. But I think it is nice to just be able to get a mountain if you need it. Maybe, though. Like, the problem is marsh flats don't get mountains. Yeah. I think I'd just rather have a swamp. I think the deck is way heavier black than white, obviously. Yeah, I just, I'd rather have a swamp than a second. I have a second swamp than a second plains. Oh, I see. This is actually great now because we can attack for five. Falcon Wrath Aristocrat doing, doing, doing the deed. It also gains indestructible if they try to kill it. That's so good. So good, dude. Never had Bojangles. They Bojangles don't... is gas. They don't really have them around here. What'd you do that southern voice for? Because I wanted to, boy. They don't really have them around here. Do they play a forest? No. So these are the four cards. No, eh, three cards out of four that we know. They can kill her with collective brutality, which is pretty stupid. Unless we draw Thoughtseize here, which would be nice. Can we do that? Is that possible? Uh, there's a place called Dodges that serves chicken that's also a gas station. They're pretty okay. They're pretty okay. I guess they do have to to do it. Man, yeah, now I want chicken. Huh? Now I want chicken. Fried chicken. We're going to get fried chicken at midnight. At least I have chicken. We're going to get good fried chicken at midnight? That's the question? Probably nowhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about all that. Canes is good. I had Canes when I was in Vegas. Sounds like the devil's chicken. Why? Because Canes. What does Canes have to do with the devil? It's just a devilly sounding word. It's a devilly sounding word. Canes chicken. Bojangles is good. I agree. What would be your, your number one chicken joint? For me? Yeah, man. Who else are we talking to? <laughs> Um, no, what's your number one chicken joint for me? I had to probably go with his L's. If I had to go to a place where I could actually go, probably Popeye's. What's your second place location notwithstanding? So not Popeye's and not his L's. Um, probably just Publix. Really? Yeah, I think their fried chicken's good. Hi, Bob. Congrats on the 3-0, buddy. I think Publix is up there. I think Publix is good. Korean fried chicken. Yeah, that's also a thing. This is a... Man, is this pepper talk or chicken talk? Hello, welcome to Chicken Talk. I'm Michael B. 
There's like this hot chicken place in uh, California where they like there's so much spice on it like you can't even see anything else. And I, I really can see. Try it. I can see spices for days. I don't see I don't see spice color, Michael. What's the hold up here? You're just collecting brutality with this thing, right? Come on, sneakerhead. We're supposed to get a bonchon in Seattle. Korean fried chicken, so good. Hmm. Frank, do you see the pepper hat? This is obviously chicken talk. Hmm. Doesn't do anything, I don't think. They still have a target for this, but it doesn't matter. They can't take anything, so. The hottest pepper in the world is grown here in South Carolina. Is it the Carolina Reaper? Fatal push. That's technically correct. Fatal push. Lingering souls. That's a good one. Do we lingering souls? We have to cutthroat, and do we actually do we attack with this guy and play cutthroat, or do we play lingering souls and cutthroat? I think it's lingering souls and cutthroat. They do have a damnation, but then they take a bunch, and we get to lingering souls and attack with shambling vents. So. And their last card is Damnation. They have one card in hand, so. Bye, Bobby. Sent me a textual <laughs> message. She did. Did she? I was yeah. just guessing. It didn't make any sense, so I don't know what to say. What, what, what did she say? Um, I don't think she knows how to text very well, because the message read... Um, let's see here. I mean, it's just, num it's just letters and numbers, man. Pair, you, goo... And lots of eyes. That sounds like a butt text. Pair you goo, uh... So. That other one's weird, too. <laughs> and also, she accidentally texted some other number, too, so it's like a random group chat. Okay, so. that's really weird, man. I'm assuming that was an accident. You'd think so. Well, pair you goo again. <laughs> pair you goo, all. Yeah, that guy's gotta go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. That Khalid has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wait, Moe's has Carolina Reapers now? What? I don't think that's true. There's no way. Maybe certain locations do, but I doubt Moe's. Uh, I doubt all the Moe's have that. If they want to block her, they still take one, two, three, four, five, six. They go to ten. I guess we can leave this guy back, actually. Because if they want to if they want to wipe the board with Damnation, like they're going to take much more. Oh, in South Carolina, sure. Yeah, at a local South Carolina, maybe. That would yeah. make sense, yeah. Also, I don't know why you'd want one in your food. That would, like, ruin the whole burrito, man. Those things are hot. If it's in form of salsa, it might be acceptable. Sounds important. Yeah, it's It's probably very important. It sounded like an important message. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, okay. We knew you had that guy. Perry, you goo, Michael. Them having damnation is pretty sad because I think I have damnation here. They're going to attack in damnation? This is aggressive. Michael said there'd be days like this. There'd be days like this, Michael said. Remember when he said that, Michael? I'm going to crack one of these just to thin it out a little bit. No. I want to keep one in case we just top deck like a hidden, hidden, hidden thing, a hidden boy. Have you top decked the hidden boy yet? <laughs> I see your hidden boy there. Oh my god, they're gonna field of ruin my my shambler. Sham bam, thank you, ma'am. Like you do. I'm going to play this Bitter Blossom now. Man, I love my Shambling Vent. Why do they have to go and kill it? And they got a Hissing Quaggy. They can deal four this turn. Oh, man. You're killing me here, Smalls. So your last card is Damnation. Sure. And we do have a Lingering Souls in our graveyard. And you just drew an Inquisition, which does nothing. Hi, Bob. Thank you so much for the, for the for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. Always a pleasure, my, my friend. My friendo. Manate. Manate. Oh, that's a good one. That's an old one. 
All right, that did it. Got that thing out of the hand. And they have Inquisition. That's okay, we'll play everything we draw. God, how are these Tarmogoyfs so big, dude? They're always seven eights. What is it? Creature, Enchantment, Land, Sorcery, Instant, Planeswalker. Oh, and Tribal. tribal from oh, Bear man. That's big. That's a big boy. Beep, beep. That is a beep, beep. God, I don't want to go to five here. And before everyone says, Bitter Blossom in the chat. Okay. Well, excuse me. Oh, they're getting in there with a little quag Quaggington, Senior Quaggington. I'll block here. And I gain a life. God, how do they even win? JK, Don't they know. can't. Leg Legion, Legion War Boss. So we know one card is an Inquisition. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we actually can't play that if we want to attack with both. Do we want to attack with both? Probably, because it puts them to 3. This is deadly. This is a, this is this a gamble. Is, this is deadly, boy. I don't like you. What game is this? Two? Who knows? I think so. Did we win the first game? I thought so. I thought so, too. But I don't know, man. Magic blends together sometimes. No time of life? Oh, you got it. Deal. It's like we played the Thoughtseize to get their Inquisition out. Oh, that, that was, was a good really one. Good draw. That's a good one. Off the tippity top. So they basically have to draw like Maelstrom Pulse, and they've already we've already seen one. So, all right, put you to one, so that any dead any creature. Oh, it actually doesn't even matter because if they if any creature dies, yeah, they die. They die. If they die, they die. Don't fiddle push this guy, though. Really? Wow, you're so good at this game. Ooh. Now I think we flash it back. Yeah, we're gonna, we were going to flash it back anyway, but... Like, because it doesn't matter. We either win next turn or we lose next turn. So if they have, like, Damnation... It's... Actually, if they have Damnation, they... it's probably better because then we can still... No, we be... no, they would... Yeah, they would lose their guy and we'd lose our guy, so... <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. Nicely done. All right, so we got a nice. We're in the we're in the W column now. Um, Woo! What don't we like and what do we like here? I think it's good. Like it's like it's funny. We could cut the paths and then we can add more fatal push. I think that's actually a fine substitute. Just to make it more, and we can actually make this Krenko's command if we wanted. Yeah, to. but lingering souls is so good. I think no. I think I think lingering souls definitely stays in the deck. I'm just like splash white for it. And those raised alarms could just be Cranko's commands. They could. Oh, it's actually the hidden stockpiles over here. I added the fourth one, but I was like, oh, we already had the fourth one. So, yeah, like these could just be Cranko's, and we could actually be more white than than red. But I don't know. Like you do want to you want you do want turn two hidden stockpile if you can get it. Oh yeah, true. I mean, I do like... I think these guys were great, though. Especially with Blood Artists and Zulpark Cutthroats. Sure, but the green shirt did fit me. Okay. <laughs> Let's call the black-white cards and just had goblins. Uh, we could tell your reinforcements in the sideboard. That might be better than a React Champion. It's probably easier to cast. The problem is that we're... It's Whoa, that was really probably loud. The problem is that it's it's unlikely that we're going to have more creatures that or less fewer creatures than they do. Yeah, that's a good point. So like we'd probably just gain the life, whereas like Oriak Champion's very very good in the matchups it's good in, which is like the burn deck. But we're already gaining life against the burn deck anyway. Any chance you would put it on? If Mike is still if if you're up for some cube drive after this, you can probably put it on. I don't know how your back's doing. Is it okay? You want some you want some Advil? That would be helpful. All right. After this match, we can uh, go get you some. We'll 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 give we'll do we'll do some doctor in here. Some doctor in. 
what are i think i i think i like this configuration i think we can go easier on the i'm gonna cut this for another bloodstain mire for sure uh godless shrine three godless shrine i think this land i think this mana base is better now i like shambling vents as well i think they're very very good I think the deck is probably good like this. I actually did. I, I felt like I felt like we had really good cards last game. I think Legion War Boss is a great addition. So I, I also like Falcon Rather Aristocrat just because it's like, uh, it's basically like a Thunder My Hellkite slash Storm Breath Dragon, but it costs four mana instead, and you can just sack any one of your Dirtles. To this hand just, is really good. I agree. All our colors. Thoughts he's on turn one. Hidden Stockpile or Bitter Blossom on turn two. What? Ooh, we got a spicy build. It's your bird, boy. Well, we're going to take the old... the old. Actually, I'm just going to get a swamp here. I don't need to take a million. All right, let's see what you got here. Stomping Ground. Strangler Geist. I'm just going to take the Strangler Geist. Because your hand is not great without that Strangler Geist. One Mike B. Drug Bug. <laughs> Thanks. What does that even mean? And now we can get a Sacred Foundry here and play Stockpile and get a free guy or just play Bitter Blossom. Hurt your back deadlifting? Well, at least you were doing something. I hurt my back by waking up. That's all I did. Yeah, he's got... Yeah, it's I a, just woke up and it was in pain. He's like, well, this is a way to live, I guess. One, two... Stockpile makes a guy. Yeah, I like Stockpile here. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, hit the door. Sure. Yo! So that's gone. Oh, boy. This is a weird deck. You're a weird deck. Okay, so let's get a planes here. I don't want to kill myself. And we'll just play Lingering Souls. Because now we can double block either of these. Oh, they got Lightning Bolt. I'm actually very surprised at the, uh, the amount of pressure they're able to put on with this 1-1. One, one. Actually, it's not really pressure. Like, We took like six of our own damage. Two from Thoughtseize, one from Meyer. Uh, one from other Meyer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they dealt us one. Yeah, but I was in the view of public doing the walk of shame out of the gym was humiliating. I do the walk of shame at all times. That's just how I walk now. I like, like this because if you want to waste a lightning bolt on this, that's fine. Walk of shame is just my life now. I think uh, we're dead. No, we're not dead. Don't be a little baby. Three, four, five. Yikes. Now that's not good. Yeah, I think we should have just played the... I think we should have actually played one of these to play this. I didn't want to take any more damage, but... I think that was correct. I do like Inquisition instead of Thoughtseize. And I agree with that. Like, I actually think Inquisition is better a lot of the time. Because in Modern, a lot of the cards you care about cost one to three. Bitter Blossom might kill us here. Cutthroat. Lingering Souls. Yikes. Yikes. It's going to be yikes for me, dog. Well, we do get to Viscera Seer a lot of things. So, are you just, do you have a counter spell? Oh, you, what? Why would you. Oh my god. You have no class. <laughs> I was like, what? Just bolt us, man. Why'd Come you pass on, the dude. turn? Just kill me. Uh, I'm going to take the Thought Seizes out here. I don't think Oriac Champion is great. Like, most of their creatures are green and blue. Like, they only have Lightning Wolves that really are relevant there. Mike, you should try doing a dead hang from a pull-up position. It decompresses the spine. Although, I don't know what we bring in here. I don't know where I could do that at. I'm going to bring Oriac Champion in just because I want the life gain. I'll bring Athreos in, too. I don't know if it's great. We could bring Spellwoman because, like, they have, um, like, Stranger Geist, but... Uh, the sand seems great.
Yeah, I don't know where Mike can actually do a dead hang. I'm actually almost 6'7", so it's actually... I need a lot of space to hang. <laughs> he's got a lot... He's got a... He needs... Like, even when I used to go to the gym, this is a long time ago, but there was... I could never do that. When you were getting swole? Yeah, back in the day. Back in high school. <laughs> back in my swole days. I still wasn't that swole. I bet you were ripped, bro. No. <laughs> That is factually inaccurate. I'm just going to play Bitter Blossom here. Yeah, I definitely built some muscle, but I was nowhere near a swole. All right, man. You don't have to brag about it. God. Two raptors. Oh, boy. Look at all these idiots. Huh. Is swole Mike just Mike B from the past? No, no, no. I like Atheris less now that we have a lot more tokens and a lot less creature creatures. Um, is Swimming just my. <laughs> Actually, yes, it is, isn't it? No. Just no. We don't need any more of that stuff. What stuff? The weird stuff. What weird stuff? You can't mess with the space time continuum, man, okay? Buddy. You don't know what you can do to the space-time continuum unless you try. All right, so I want to keep Fatal Push up, but I also want to... Uh... Actually, maybe I just play both. Maybe I keep. Maybe I play Atheris and keep Fatal Push up. Atheris can't do anything, unfortunately. Like, he's never going to be a creature. <laughs> Plus, all our guys are tokens now, so that's unfortunate. But if they lightning bolt something like Legion Warboss, then it's okay. I mean, I think it's better than just playing Legion Warboss here. We have four blockers, though. We kill one. Block here. Block this guy for three, and then kill this guy. I think that's actually okay. And then just hope they don't have lightning bolt, I guess. Mike, you're tall as shit. That is actually a true statement. Factually, actually. That is correct. Michael was a rolling stone. Hey, hey, hey. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. When he died, this is how we block. This is how we block. Don't have a lightning bolt. Oh, yeah, this is how we block. I'm going to kill this, which sucks, but they don't get a 3 3 out of it, which is nice. Because the 33 would actually buff all of these guys. Yeah, that would be, be really bad. That would be a nightmare scenario. Oh, they have Lightning Bolt anyway, so. Yep, that's pretty insane. They just have it all, I guess. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> They're like, you know what, I'll, I won't take three in any of these situations. Yep, 3-4, 3-4, 3-3, 3-2. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I don't think we beat that. I mean, we got we got aristocrat. We can just block two and take six and go to one and then die. Yep, solid strategy. It's pretty bad. It is pretty bad. Yeah, I definitely like Inquisition over Thoughtseize here. To be fair, this isn't like a real deck, so is that better or worse? They just crushed us. They steamrolled us. Yeah, it wasn't really close. How dare you? Yeah, I'm going to take Thoughtseize out. Inquisition. Two life is also super relevant. And I'm going to take the Atheros out. I just don't think it does much when we when we lean more heavily toward a token strategy. I do like another Orac champion, but I will have to get one real quick. I'm going to play one more match, and then we can move on. 
down the road. I'd say that's what you said about last match, but it didn't last very long. Well, that's why. Wait, what didn't last very long in the match? Yeah. Agreed. Hey, man, is this one of them fancy covers with no cover? Yeah, it's a cover with no cover. You got a bunch of those. Yeah, the whole stack is like a bunch of them. I'd like to borrow an Oriok champion, if you don't mind. But then I got wrecked by Return to Ravnica standard deck. Yeah, I just think it's some changes. I also do like a fourth Fatal Push in the deck, because there are a lot of creatures you just can't deal with. Um, like my dad. Yeah, like Mike's dad. That is definitely one of the creatures you can't deal with. I think we could probably take Bitter Blossom out, or we could probably take one Raise the Alarm out. I'd rather have a Bitter Blossom than a Raise the Alarm most of the time. And I'm going to add one more of this and cut the Thoughtseize. All right. Final answers. Wherever Mike laid his head was his home. Yeah, this hand seems good. I'll keep it. One of the one of the joys of modern is that you literally never know what you're gonna play against. One of my greatest joys in modern, you see. Hmm. I'm gonna disown you. Our friendship has just ended. Finally. Some peace and I've quiet. been waiting for years. Ah, after 10,000 years, I'm finally free. What is that from? It's Rita Repulsa from the Power Rangers. <laughs> ah! You should know it by now because you keep quoting it so often. Yeah, it's it's the best quote. Look, they have Nihil Spellbomb and we have Lingering Souls, and it's really sad. Yeah, that is sad. Why do they have that main deck? Why do you have anything main deck, you nerd? He did got me. It still blows my mind that Filthy Frank and Joji are the same person. Well, slowly the world is forgetting about Filthy Frank. I don't think so, man. But he's forever in my heart. Forever. I want him to just one day come back with a one a video. Oh, yeah. Like once a year or something. It just shocks you. You never expect it. But then like his channel will get a notification. How about like a hair cake number two? You mean number four? <laughs> well, the other ones weren't like hair cake, right? Oh, sure. There was like skin cake. Human cake. Human cake. Hair cake. I think the other one was reverse throw up cake or whatever. That's disgusting. Oh, look. That's cool. They they did a thing and then they took our thing. I'm very proud of you. Those videos are national treasures. Is that what we're calling them? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like words we're using here. I am. Okay. Well, I appreciate your commitment there. Oh, get wrecked. Joke's on you, you dummy. Ha. Huh. Got him. Try to disrupt my plans. And then next time we get a, a, a Frolkenrath Aristocrat. Aristocrat. Yeah. It's a roasted for hours. For its I like delicious roasted carats. Deep smoked. In... <laughs> roasted carats? Yeah. Okay. Well. You got the old vitamin. Deficiency is what you got. Wow. Got him. That's a swamp. Are they attacking with this? Hey, man. Yeah. So you got a meme on your desktop. A meme? Mm-hmm. Oh, I meant on your actual desktop of your computer. Oh, yeah, this? It's <laughs> a good one. I'm just not going to block your 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we're just going to play the Falcon Rath Aristocrat here. Crash. Uh, we will get a Blood Crypt. Nope, definitely making a red there. Boop, 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 boop. Look at this Aristocrat doing so much work, man. We got Tragic Slip. Sure. 
I mean, that guy wasn't a human, was he? No, he's a vampire. Okay. Um, bottom. I don't care about that. How do you kill this? Short of collective brutality, this card is busted. Yeah. Take what you take what you will. Yeah, uh, we're going to win this race. I don't know if you know that. I bet they do. Oh, we also have a shambling vent that we can attack with. Yeah, that's pretty good. I will play this and keep it up so I can uh, keep up my fatal push. My fatal pushing. I'm going to deal you eight right here. I don't know how you feel about that. You can you kill this? Wow, all the fatal pushes in the world. That's sad. Still dead on board. Oh, I forgot this lingering souls we had in the graveyard, man. That's how good we're doing. I totally forgot about my lingering, my lingering. That's not why you forgot. You forgot because you're dumb. <laughs> it's a valid point. So against the black red deck, like they just can't kill an Ariac champion, right? I believe that is the point. What are we cutting here? I'll cut one blood artist. Michael was a rolling star. We have two sacred fangs, but only one blood crypt. Oh, I meant to put a second blood crypt in, and I ended up putting a second blood stain mire in instead. So we're gonna fix that. Ratch quick. And I don't think they're done. We haven't seen any red from them. We're gonna cut a godless marsh. A godless marsh. <laughs> Cut the godless marsh. Uh, we just saw green-black, so. I think our matchup against green-black is good. It feels like that so far. Which is a popular deck, so, you know. So we can close this match. And we can close this match. We can close this match. And this is the last one. All right, this hand looks good. I'll keep it. Michael was a rolling stone. Did you know you were, where you were, you were rolling stone? No. Well, now you know. Okay. Got him. Okay. Excuse me? Oh, not going for the turn one inquisition? No, because like, if you play this on turn... like I could play this on turn two, but I'd rather just not do that. You could no, have took that, man. No, I can just kill it and also inquisition. Oh, tireless tracker? And a go you boy. Oh, that hand's terrible. Your hand sucks. <laughs> you suck. Your hand's bad and you should feel bad. Uh, I'll just get a swamp here. Got them. They're basically dead. They got a, what is this, 0-1? 4-5, that's what I meant. Close. Um... Good lingering souls here. We can also just play. Yeah, we lingering souls, and then next turn we can either play a four. We can play either four drop. We also just could just attack with this guy, so that's pretty good too. Also, unfortunately, where they play treetop, languish doesn't kill their own Tarmogoyf. It does kill Falcon Wrath Aristocrat though. But we gain a bunch of life here, so that's pretty cool. Oh wow, that was what a great draw. What a phenomenal draw. Our cards aren't even generally good against us, except this one specific situation. Yeah, our graveyard is usually irrelevant. But sometimes, right after you play your, uh, your or right after you play your lingering souls, your opponent plays the scavenging ooze, the scoozles. Excuse, excuse me. Did we add a mountain? I don't think so. Did we? <gasps> no. I got excited, but. Alas, we did not. Nope, that's not going to do it. All right, well, guess we'll just bitter blossom here. Attack for one. I could see them languishing here and then attacking for four. So I know they have languish in one other card. Zagon, what's going on, buddy? Hello. 
Hello, my name is Milos. <laughs> my name is Brilos. Brilos, like the mm-hmm. cheese? Yeah. Beautiful. Brilos, like the cheese. Just beautiful. So we know that their last card is language, so that's pretty good. Welcome to Malkovich's gaming computer. I have no idea what you just said. Well, that's interesting. But then they eat this guy, and this is a 4 4. This still dies. But then they take a bunch of damage. Yeah, I'd rather save the aristocrat for after. Michael was a rolling stone. I don't think we attack here. Feels a little aggressive. What did you say? Your gaming computer? Belkovich's. What is that? Is that from something? <laughs> it's from an internet video, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Come at me, bro. Electronic Supersonic I think we just double block here I think it's fine I think gain like a million Good lord <laughs> That's pretty good You almost have to languish here But now you lose your Tarmogoyf too Which is great Oh my god Do you think of languishing? No, scavenging goose, which is actually worse with your language in hand. That's interesting. <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, boy. Oh, that's real good. You almost actually can't even languish now, right? One, two, three, four. So four, five, six, seven. You take 14 and die. Fourteen and day. That was a good draw. We're doing very well. I mean, as long as they don't top deck a Maelstrom Pulse. Actually, even if they do, they take eight. Yeah, it doesn't. I guess they they would do it here. If they want to survive, they would. Next time we can, we we just win. We play aristocrat, and then we can sack everything, if we like. In addition to dealing four and making it indestructible, so. Yeah, this is why you add the red because, or, or the why you why you keep the white because lingering souls is just way too good. Mago was a rolling stone. They did. They, I bet they topped the Maelstrom Pulse. Assassin's Trophy. Yes, let's use that ability. Let's get a Swamp Arena. Well, that was a good hit. But they can't languish here, so we're still in good shape. Oh, you should have 100% attacked, right? Maybe? No, I don't know. It goes too well for him. Well, I don't know if it's going to go too well to not attack, because I'm pretty sure they're dead. Like, they take 8 here. Yeah, they're dead. They're 100% dead. They take 8 in the air. They only have Languish in hand. I mean, if you're too afraid to kill your own creatures to Languish, then you probably shouldn't be boarding in Languish. Like, they get to go to 12 because there's one creature in the graveyard, but we get to sack our whole board. And I'm just going to do this in response. And that does it. Man, our, our black-green matchup seems pretty good. Yeah, I think this is the good configuration. I like this. Um, Mitch, hopefully you got some good ideas out of this. I, I think the red is definitely beneficial for Falcon Other Aristocrat and Legion War Boss. We actually didn't touch on any red sideboard slots. I don't think you need them because a lot of the, the same things are done in white. Usually you just use red for artifacts. And we do have, like, Fragmentize and Damping Sphere for the artifact matchups. 
um, which is mostly just Tron. I don't think you're going to have too bad of a time against uh, things like Affinity because A, I haven't seen Affinity in ages, and B, Lingering Souls is the worst, and Bitter Blossom are the worst enemies of Affinity because all their guys have one toughness. Um, but otherwise, I think this deck was pretty sweet, and uh, Hidden Stockpile was pretty nice, especially with fetch lands and especially in multiples. Um, Zulaport Gut Threats, I think... Um, I think Falcon of the Aristocrat was a great threat. Like, it not only is it a sacrifice outlet, but it's pretty hard to deal with if, if they don't have, like, Collective Brutality or pff, Languish. Because uh, you could just give it Indestructible, and 4 damage in the air is a lot in Modern. Legion Warboss, same thing. Just being able to make a token every single turn reliably uh, is very, very good, especially when you have things like Blood Artist. And it, so it gets to a point where, like, you don't even care if the guy dies because you just trigger one of these guys. But, um... Yeah, I think cutting down on the white, minimizing it by, you know, just replacing the paths with fatal pushes and uh, taking out the white, the white one, one drops that don't really do much um, makes this a little stronger and a little more aggressive because you you don't just want to stall and gain a bunch of life. You just want to finish the game. And I think both of these help you do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, I think Warboss is just better than Ravel Master. I don't think you care about Ravel Master forcing your goblins to attack every turn is just not good. We already we went over this earlier, uh, whereas Warboss only makes the first one that it makes have to attack. Uh, similarly, Warboss can make any token larger. So if you need to attack with a 1-1 with a, a one -one and make it a 2-2 two -two in the air, you can do that with a Warboss. So can you large the size of the cards? I mean, I, I mean, I, I, like, I, don't, I don't want to make them too big because then you can't see the lands. But um, this list will also be on the video if you guys are watching on YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end this uh, video for the YouTubes. And uh, if you guys want to check me out on Twitch and Patreon, you can do so in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off. You can also get uh, free shipping and free returns. So if you don't like anything, you can return it. But you probably will because there have been tons of rave reviews in the stream alone. And uh, you can also check out the final deck list in the, in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to have your deck critiqued by me, you can check out both the links in the description below. They will help you find out how to do that. And... Uh, Mitch, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the option and the opportunity. And uh, hopefully you got some ideas out of this. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.